What's going on guys, Scar here, and today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming Xbox game that everyone has been dying for, that is called Starfield. Now, if you guys don't know, this is made by Bethesda, the award winners of Fallout 4 and Skyrim, Elder Scrolls 5. And this is a very hyped up game that people have been waiting for because this is supposedly supposed to be uh, Skyrim in space. Uh, it's It kind of combines how skyrim and fallout both are with their open world but apparently this is going to be two times the size of skyrim so it's going to have even more content and it's going to be taking place in space so i don't know if you guys have played no man's sky <laughs> it doesn't look exactly like the game but it's going to kind of have the same like idea but you know i will just have to wait and see i've watched some of the trailers i think it looks pretty cool I'll probably be getting it for Xbox when it comes out. I don't know if I'm going to pre-order it, but I'll buy it uh, when people say it's good. But supposedly this game is going to be one of the best games because it's basically combining Skyrim and Fallout. And we have finally got a confirmed release date. And this was from a few days ago, but I saw this. I just looked it up. And from RadioTimes.com, they say that the confirmed release date is Wednesday 6, September 2023. So we have about, let's see, uh, seven, we have about six months until the game comes out, and that's pretty cool, but also that's when school starts, so I'm kind of pissed off about that, but it's, you know, I'm still pretty excited for it, and they have a brand new announcement trailer, which they, you know, showed it. I didn't watch it, but I might watch it later, just to see, and it says that, you know, they're gonna have pre-orders, and it might be coming to Game Pass, I don't know. Oh yeah, so it will be available one on day one of its release for Game Pass subscribers at no extra cost. So if you do have Game Pass during that time, you will be able to play it for free, basically. So that will be pretty cool. So it's basically going to be, you know, Xbox, Xbox exclusive, sorry. And it's, you know, from Bethesda. Also, I'm looking here, and apparently there's a question that says, Will Starfield have 1,000 planets? Which is a big open world, and it does say... First revealed Starfield's universe will be made up of more than 1,000 planets. And that's pretty insane because that we're going to have even more content than Skyrim and Fall, Fallout 4 combined. And uh, it's going to have four major cities, one of them being New Atlantis City, the largest city in Bethesda history that they've made. Pretty cool. Now, this game will cost about 70 bucks. But to be fair, this game is most likely going to be worth it. I mean, we don't really know, so I can't really say that. But from what we've seen and the amount of time they spent on this game, let's just hope they're not like Infinity War, Treyarch, Sledgehammer Games, or they games. They hammer games, whatever you want to call it. And Activision, you know, let's just, let's just make sure, you know, they're not like that charging $70 for a shit game. Because this isn't a, like, yearly premium release. They take years of time working on these games. Kind of like Rockstar, but, you know, you know what Rockstar is. When are we getting GTA 6? Probably in 20, 2026, probably. <laughs> we can only assume it's going there. But, uh, this... This game is, you know, it's going along with Redfall, the next Forza Motorsport, and I think this is going to be the number one game on Xbox for a while when it first comes out. This is going to outweigh Hogwarts Legacy and definitely Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, Modern Warfare Deuce, if you want to call it that as well. But I'm pretty excited for this open world. I, I played Skyrim a lot, as you guys know, I've talked about it on here. I played some Skyrim and I'm still advancing my character I'm trying to make you know a juggernaut and I don't know how it's going to work on here but I don't think it's going to be big on character building it probably you know I'll have that customization but I think it's going to be more about just exploring and like you know kind of just advancing like your armor and like also just advancing your ship because I assume you're like you're gonna have to like uh you know upgrade your ship in some ways to make it faster it's some some kind of aspect of that i believe is going to be in that game it only makes sense because it's going to be this big so i'm pretty excited oh and i also just looked at pcgamer.com and it does say in one of the paragraphs it does say that uh todd <laughs> the creator todd brings the big guns and unveils starfield's ship customization which will let you make your dream ship to fly between starfield's 1000 explorable planets you can get yourself a dream home, you can get a hero worshipped, so kind of like, uh, 
oh, what's her fucking name? I can't, I can't remember. Even though I'm literally playing Skyrim right now, I can't remember the, uh, the worshiper, the, like, the person that walks around with you everywhere. Lydia, okay, yeah, like her. She, like, follows you around and helps you, like, kind of advance and, like, level up. I don't know how it's gonna be in here. I, that might just be... In here, it says you've earned the attention of an annoying, adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber at you insistently. On the plus side, he'll give you gifts. So I've, I'll probably assume that he'll just be on your ship or at your home, like just like giving you stuff. I don't know. Uh, kid stuff? Your parents are alive and well, and you can visit them at their home, but 10% of all the money you earn is deducted automatically and sent to them. Okay, <laughs> so I obviously there's a currency, but I, I guess it goes to them. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool, and it does have you know Elder Scrolls and slash Fallout mechanics. NPCs can be pickpocketed, lock pickings back. There's a persuasion mini game. Uh, there will be recruitable NPC companions, kind of like I was saying about Lydia. You can get NPCs to like help you and walk with you. You'll. You'll be able to join factions like in skyrim you can join certain like factions and like uh you know different groups of people in the game depending on like how you want to grow your character uh you can build outposts shown briefly in the trailers so you can look at those but i'm pretty i'm pretty excited to see how this game is going to turn out i hope it's not shitty like all the other triple a games that have been coming out because we all know triple a games have kind of uh yeah, they're expected to be awesome. Like this was like, oh the new gen. That's why I got it and I want to play this new game. But we hope that this game turns out well, and it probably will. It's like eighty percent sure that this game is going to ninety percent actually. I'm I have put all my eggs in one basket and saying that this game is going to blow everyone away. I'm just telling you, this is going to be one of the best new Bethesda RPGs, and I just really hope that it doesn't uh, ruffle anyone's feathers when it first comes out, and I just, uh, I'm pretty excited, I don't know if I'm gonna get it on Steam or Xbox, because if I get it on Xbox, I have to later on get a video card so I can record from my Xbox to my PC so I can actually, like, show long gameplay instead of just getting one minute clips and, like, you know, doing that, because that's annoying, but, yeah, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, the game comes out September 6th later this year, and I'm pretty excited. If you want to pre-order it, you can. I don't recommend pre-orders, by the way, but uh, if you're really that hopeful that this game's going to be great, go for it. 70 bucks, AAA Gaming. Hope it blows everyone away. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.